way behind them to sound check, rock or bust, and also kiss, bang, love, and pure gem. Nearing the turn, and Akinar star the leader at the 500. Three quarters in front of the filly, Lucy May under heavy pressure. Foxy Princess down on the rail. In behind them, Riask hard ridden coming into the corner. Further back in the field, see Annie. She's probably about six or seven lengths off them. Akinar star led at the 250. Lucy May sticking on, and now Riask stuck to put in down the outside. Akinar star, Riask, and Retivik and Debalacio running on. Akinar star, Lucy May. They beat off Riask, but Debalacio's coming. Lucy May with a head in front. Lucy May. Lucy May. She's won the Magic Millions Karakata plate double with a grand performance over Akinar star or Riask and Retivik down the outside. See, Annie had no luck in running. She finished on pretty well, though. In behind those, next of all, when they'd pulled up behind them, Foxy Princess, Rock or Bus, Keeper Keen Eldalar, then Pure Gem, followed by Aaron Boy, Red Asona's well back with Whacked Out, Kiss Bang Love, and the tail end of Soundcheck. Lucy May, number 11, who beat Akinar Star home when they clashed in the Magic Millions, has again repeated the dose with Debelatio on the outside lunging, but Lucy May, the stratum filly for Teddy Martinovich, ridden by Sean McGruddy, the winner of the Magic Millions, second in the Jim Crack, and now the Karakata Plate winner, has again denied Akinar Star, who had to lead from 11. Lucy May from 13, they came over together early in 1.10.09, so they've really marched in the Karakata. Akinar Star, Lucy May, Lucy May, with a head in front on the line at 24.35, even this little filly with a big heart, grabbing Akinar Star. In the final part, Riask was there. Debelatio was working to the line well. 35-61 the sectional. But at the end of the day, Lucy May, who stood up, and she counted for everything at the finish. By Stratum from Razia, by Scenic, bred at Scenic Lodge, raced by M. Epis, Mrs. I. Ledden, and trained by one of the really good guys of WA Racing, Teddy Martinovich, Sean McGruddy aboard, and almost a repeat from the Magic Millions clash at Pinjarra. Akinar star second to Gingerbread Man, Marine Gelding for Peter Walsh, A. Harrod, Josh Hardy, Dan Jansik, A. and Dar Walker, P. Gelmi and C. and S. Coucher, Simon Miller, Peter Nucky combining, and Debelatio third by Smart Missile from Velasco, raced by Judith Kersley, A. Jones, Ms. H. Barker, Julian Sullivan, N. Pinner, Trevor Nisbet, John Yovich, Gary Dickey, Brad Willis and Ross Fitzgerald, trained by Fred Kersley, ridden by Daniel Stake. As Sean McGruddy, the shooter, comes back aboard this little filly by Stratum. She's pint-sized and she has again triumphed in a feature two-year-old race. She earns the title as the best of the babies for the season on this victory. A long head, half a head and three quarters. 11-2, 6-5, Rechevik finishing in fourth placing. Riask is fifth home as we take you down to Adam after another great performance here and what a thrill it is for trainer, veteran horseman Teddy Martinovich. Yeah, some emotional scenes down here. Sean McGrady uh, giving a big scream out there and very thankful to Ted Martinovich. We've got Ted now and Ted, she is just so tough. Unbelievable, yeah. Look, nothing I've ever looked at her. Unbelievable. All guts she is, honestly, yeah. In every race, she seems to be challenged, and then she just knuckles down and finds more gears. And as you said, you look at her, she's probably the smallest in the field. Looks like she's going to get beat about five times. Just kept going and going. Ed. She's got some guts about her, no doubt about that. That's she sure. certainly does. I remember, uh, of course, her bred out there at Scenic Lodge, sir, and Damien Kerwin at the time, he said it was the best bred horse he'd seen out there, and that everything about her was put together so well. And we're starting to see that now, aren't we? She just does everything so correctly. Yeah, that's really true. When we first seen her, though, she's that small when Martin bought her, I thought, hell, what the hell's he bought here? But unbelievable, the best horse by miles, and terrific, unbelievable. Her work at home, were you confident coming into this race? Yeah, well, she doesn't knock, she doesn't need a lot of work, there's not much of her, but she's really done well. And as Sean said last time when she ran second, he said she'd improve on the run because she had a few weeks off in between. So, really, no, I was pretty confident. Well, when I say confident, the barriers what put me off. I thought we thought if she do the inside four or five, it's very hard to beat. I thought from the barrier, but she shot out of the gates that quick. That, 
She really cross kept going. It was great. An amazing performance. So winning both races now over the 1,200 metres. Do we go to the 14? Oh, I don't think about that for a while. I keep saying I'm going to go to the paddock, but I might have to keep it going. Tell you what, she loves racing. Congratulations, Ted. Well done. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Ted Martinovic here. Let's grab Sean McGrady, the man of the moment. Gee whiz, does he like a big two-year-old race? Sean, what a moment. Oh, I can't believe it, Adam. I really can't. She's, um, to be honest, I thought we were, our hopes were dashed, drawing wide. I thought she probably can't run in the first three. I said to Ted, or Mr Martinovich, after I come in from the previous race, I said, if we draw from one to six, we'll finish in the first three. When we drew wide, I just thought, well, we'll need a lot of luck. But she began well, and, and Peter Nucky on Simon Miller's horse began well, and took me across, and we did really did get a nice breather, and she settled a lot better today than last start. Last start, she's just on chewy a bit, but today she settled a treat, and yeah, the 100 metre mark, I thought I was going to win by, by quite a margin, but... You know, she did it tough from the gate and faced a breeze, and, and there was a bit of a breeze down the back there now, but um, she fought it out, you know, very bravely and just held on, so just can't believe it, really. Mate, I can see the emotion. Uh, you're shaking at the moment. You gave a big scream out when you came into the yard as well. What does it mean to you win big races like this when you do get the opportunity? Well, when you get the opportunity, they don't always win. I, before I won the race for Trevor Andrews on Luke's Luck, I'd had two seconds and a third, and I thought I was destined never to win a big race, and... Um, Trevor Andrews gave me that opportunity and I've won actually quite a few big races for Trevor. And it just shows you how hard it is to get an opportunity. Um, but yeah, Ted was good enough to offer me the ride in the Magic Millions and she won that as a roughie. And yeah, her, her run the other day was full of merit. Um, did it tough again as she, as she likes to do it and just improved enough obviously to, to take it out today. But yeah, I just can't believe she got the chocolates. It's great to see the emotion doesn't go away, mate, in racing. Congratulations with the win. Thanks very much, Adam. Appreciate it. Sean McGrady there, winning jockey aboard of Lucy May, taking out the 2017 Amelia Park Caracatta Plate, the Group 2 event for the two-year-olds over 1,200 metres from Akinar Star and Debelatio.